This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Once you've imported a bunch of assets into Encore and created some Encore elements, it's a good idea to organize your project panel. So we're going to do that in this tutorial. Go over to Working Files and double click on that and then open up the Encore Project subfolder and double click on 0305 Managing Assets. Now it'll open up that project. We have a whole lot of assets there in the project panel and I want to organize them. Right now they're just kind of scattered around here willy-nilly, but we've got, you know, some video files, audio files, slideshow, still images, you name it, we got it here. What I want to do is kind of put them into categories. So the first order of business is to see how this thing can be organized. You can put things in alphabetical order simply by clicking on the name column header, and that'll put them in alphabetical order. The first letter for us is M in this case. Go to MW, so there you go. You can reverse it by clicking it again, so now I reverse alphabetical order. You can also put things in order by duration. Clicking this, that'll be the longest first, and now this is the shortest first. Still images down to the videos. There are other headers here. If I slide the scroll bar to the right, you see other headers here that could be used to sort things as well. You can rearrange these headers. Let's say the size, I'd rather have the size to the left, for example. So I can just drag this over like so and get that all the way over to the front here if I want to do that. There we go. Or I think duration is nice to have that right next to it as well. So you get duration and size. You can add other headers by simply right clicking on a column header. And it says columns. And these are the unchecked things are the things that you can add. So you might want to add media category or description or file path. File path is good when you're trying to track down something. So you just click File Path, and there it says where it's stored on your computer. If you don't want that around anymore, you just can right-click on that and say Hide This, and it gets rid of that header. I want to organize these guys by type, so maybe I can add that header as well. So I'll right-click here and go Columns and Add Type. And now you can't see it because it's always put at the end. There's the type there, so I'm going to drag that over a little bit so I get that up toward the front here. Make it a little bit farther. Here we go. There we are, right next to duration. It's a good place for it. I want to put all the timelines in one place. There's a way to do that. You can simply make a new folder. Now in Premiere, it's called a bin, and there's a button down in the project panel to make a new bin. There is no such button in Encore. The Make a New Folder option is inside this New Item drop-down list right at the top, or you can go File, New, folder that way. The logical way though is to use this little guy, this little icon there, click that and go down to folder. It makes a new folder. Let's name this one timelines. I want to put all the timelines in that folder. So I click on type, that'll sort things by the type. So I'll scroll down, look for timelines. Oh, there, there are three of them right there. So I'll select the first one and then shift click on the last to get all three. Now I want to drag that to the newly created folder, which is way the heck up there. But let's just give it a shot. Let's take this guy and start dragging it up and see what happens. And then we just drop it in timelines. Notice that as I hover over timelines, it turns green, saying that you're about to drop something into this folder. Now nothing apparently happens, but if you open up the disclosure triangle, there are those three timelines right there inside the timelines folder. Let's make a couple more. So go down here, click this guy. We'll make a menus folder. I'll track down the menu. So since we've already clicked on type, the menu should be stored down here where the M's are. So I'll click on the first, shift click on the third, drag that the menus up here a little ways right there. Now we're getting things organized. Here are the three menus. Let's add video and audio assets. So I'll just call them assets. How about that? And let's find those guys. Now these are going to be scattered around a little bit. If you notice AC3 audio and then audio file for the WAV file, it should say WAV. I'm not sure why it doesn't say that. If I scroll down, there is a WAV file down here, and it says WAV. I'm just thinking this is just a little anomaly that for some reason this guy was not viewed as a WAV file. But I want to put all the video and audio assets in there, and they're kind of scattered a bit. So I'm going to click on this one, control click on that, and just drag that into the assets folder. Go down here and get these two video files by clicking on that and control clicking and dragging it into the assets folder. And we'll go down a little bit farther here and get the rest of these guys. Scroll up there and put that in the Assets folders. Now what's left? Got all this slideshow stuff here. So let me just put that into a folder. Just make a new folder, call it Slideshow. This is one of my little bugaboos with Encore. Slideshow is really supposed to be spelled with two words. They spell it as one word inside Encore. And so, okay, I'm going to defy them and just make it a two-word thing. 
Grab the first one there, shift click on the last one to select all of those. Drag that inside the slideshow folder. Now I'm gonna open up the slideshow folder and show you how you can rename an asset. I'm gonna rename the slideshow. Remember the slideshow takes on the name of the first file that you click on when you import something as a slideshow. So I'm gonna rename this thing to something more descriptive. So I'm gonna right click on it and go down to rename and type in a new name like scenic slideshow. And I'll notice some programs you can just click on it once and click it again and it turns into some blue text that you can type over, but that's not the way it works here in Encore. You can preview things here inside the project panel. If I click on the assets, for example, I can click on one of these videos and it'll show up here in this little preview pane. Now you don't hear any audio here because the audio is separate from it. It's wildlife video, wildlife audio. Let me click on something that has audio associated with it. I'll click on this time lapse. It has audio associated with it. There you go, and you can also preview images simply by clicking on them. They'll show up there as well. Now, I told you about how you can link to assets where you've broken the link. Now, you can do that here inside the project panel. If I open this up and let's say this was missing, it would be italics if we're missing. I could just right click on it and I could say locate the asset. Well, here we're fine. We don't need to locate it. It's not missing. But you can replace assets. Sometimes you want to replace an asset with some other one that really belongs there instead. All you need to do is click on Replace Asset after you've right-clicked and then find the asset you want to use to replace whatever that thing is, and you can replace it that way. If you want to delete something, simply click on it and press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. I'll do that right now. Do I really want to do it because it's in the current project? Nope, so you won't let you do it. If I go down to, let's say, one of the slide images, it'll be the same message. I'll go Backspace or Delete on that one. Same thing, you can't do it because it's inside the slideshow. So the only way to delete something is to delete the slideshow that it's in, or delete the timeline it's in, or delete the menu that it's in, something like that. So if I click on a menu now, which is just a standalone thing, I can delete that. Press delete, it's gone. If I go, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that, my bad. If I go control or command Z, that will undo that delete and brings it right back. And if you forget the keyboard shortcut, control or command Z, which is one of those undo things that's consistent through virtually all pieces of software. But if you forget that, you can always go to edit and undo to change something that you just did. Bottom line, I think it's a good idea to do this kind of work inside your project panel. It makes it much easier to access things rather than having a whole slew of things there in one great big long list. It's good to put them in these folders like this, and if you need to find things, you can always use these little column headers up here to track them down. And so that's how you organize your assets inside the project panel.